Fox 6 News. Well, let's hope he makes it. Um, Henry, thank you for that. Well, with those four young lives trapped inside that burning home, emotions ran high, even for the firefighters. That's right. Four, four of those firefighters mm -hmm. actually collapsed from exhaustion. They collapsed on the scene, in fact. Fox 6 is Jenna Sachs is live. She's got their side of the story tonight and how hard this has been for them. As firefighters tried to reach the children, their path was blocked not only by heavy furniture, but also by thick smoke and fire. Neighbors who witnessed their efforts have trouble speaking about it. The house was just in flames, man. I can't talk about it. Neighbors who witnessed the efforts of firefighters are heartbroken by the loss of life. When I got to seeing the kids, taking the kids out one by one in the ambulance, that just, that took me for a total right there. Of the four children trapped inside, firefighters reached one right away. But because of a screen on a window, it took another 12 minutes to find two more kids and another five minutes to reach the fourth. They were trying their best to get in there. They were trying whatever they could. CPR was performed on the unconscious children after four firefighters nearly dropped from exhaustion. This was uh, an example of uh, our firefighters going way above and beyond. They just would not give up when they were looking for these kids. The leaders of the Racine County Fire Chiefs Association say emotions must have run high. The fact that it is children um, and the innocence that they have is uh, what really weighs on your mind. They say firefighters will have the chance to meet with a chaplain or speak with members of a critical incident stress team. That team is there to, to be ears and just listen to anything that sometimes we might keep inside. But they say it may still be a few days before the shock wears off and emotions set in. I always like to say, you know, we have tape recorders that are constantly running in our heads. And it's sometimes not till you know, you're sleeping at night or the next day that that tape recorder kind of starts replaying. We should also mention that two Racine police officers were injured here last night. One cut his hand on a window. The other inhaled too much smoke. Both were treated at the hospital. Reporting live in Racine, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. You bring up a great point. This is hard on the first responders, just like on the family, too. Absolutely. They say, especially when dealing with children, it's hard to carry those children out and not think of their own. So they'll have some uh, healing to do as well. Yeah, that's right. All right, Jenna, thank you. And we could know more tomorrow about the cause of this fire. Tune in to.